installed for surgery, but this is going to be very much the same that we would do in um, the field as far as if we need to intubate one of the canine officers. So the big thing with this is if the canine officers are chewing or they're awake or flailing, then they don't need to be intubated. So that is a great way to get either somebody bitten or to have one of the dogs um, break the tube or chew the tube. So that's the last thing we want. So we're propofoling this dog down because obviously um, you've got something different. So when you open the mouth here, you're going to look for landmarks. Obviously, again, this dog has no jaw tone because we're giving it drugs. We've got a light here. You can also utilize a laryngoscope if you have it. But basically pulling the tongue back, you can utilize your endotracheal tube and pull the, um, you can see right down here through the um, larynx and basically pass your tube. If you look here to the left, you can see that there is the esophagus. So you can actually feel the tracheal rings, but right in like this. To certainly confirm that you're in, you can bag the patient, feel at the end of the tube, but it is pretty straightforward about passing your endotracheal tube right in.